morning. It's Wednesday morning. Well, almost afternoon. It's almost noon. I'm wearing one of my sweatshirts that my mother-in-law gave me for Christmas. Cats. Who would have who would have thought, huh? Crazy cat lady gets cats. Uh well, a few things. I I finally got all my videos uploaded and pictures from the trip so you can go on there and see all that I did during the trip uh, went to church last night went to Bible study which was really interesting in a nutshell um, pastor is fed up with sleeping church and the pretenders that I don't see this because I'm sitting with my back to the rest of the room I sit up front and apparently there's people that are sniggering and yawning and just obviously don't want to be there but they're there I don't I don't know I'm not so he addressed that quite explicitly last night well afterward we went to in and out Burger which I had no idea was open till like 1 a.m. and so I had my lettuce wrap and fries which in and out is one of the only places I can eat fast food because it doesn't the burgers aren't soaked in the same oil as the breaded things and there's not the fries don't have all this seasoning that has maltodextrin on it so I can eat there without any problems so I think Chris and I will start eating there because we've been eating at sit-down restaurants pretty regularly and while that's nice it gets pricey so uh, if we're gonna do, we used to do burgers uh, at you know McDonald's and Wendy's and stuff. And I can't eat at any of those places, even bunless. It hurts. There's it's cross contaminated, the oil and there's maltodextrin on the fries, and it's just awful. So, In and Out is one of the only places I can eat. So, we're gonna have lunch today somewhere, and then he has to work tonight. He goes back to work tonight. And he's working all the rest of this week, so we're falling back into a regular schedule. And some things that are going on in the world. <clears throat> oh, Pastor says that he is planning on sometime in the future making up for two months that were lost. When they were in Paris for a year, they lost two months out of that time various things happening so he plans on going back for two months and we're not sure exactly when but we all hope it's soon so that they can get some closure and kind of like happened with him in Berlin so that's coming up and I just read about today that there was an Islamist attack in Paris on a magazine office and 12 people were killed which is horrific and I'm just seeing things happening in the world that people say oh this has always gone on that has always gone on no I'm seeing things really really atrocious that I don't remember them happening quite as bad quite as much I mean I was reading about in Japan where child pornography is real and just drawn is considered normal and it's been going on all this time yes but I know things are just coming to a head where everything the sin is concentrated and it's getting worse and worse and worse and I had a friend that told me about her, her visit to a hospital emergency room and this is not county hospital this is not you know GPS or uh, Parkland or anything. this is like a normal hospital in Arlington Texas and she was in horrible pain and she got I mean I got better care when I went to JPS or Parkland and I'm just seeing people that do not have insurance Obamacare has kicked in. It's 2015 and I'm starting to see things happening that people I know that are reporting care 
that is not care it's abuse and not old not just old people she's well she's my age so maybe they consider her 47 old i don't know but it was just it's an in, inexcusable people you get wheeled into an area that doesn't have a bed facing the wall you're in horrible pain and they make you wait four to six hours just to, for a doctor to come in and look in your ears when you have a kidney stone they wheel you into an area where you can hear the workers making fun of you and other patients I don't remember stuff like that going on even when I went to county hospital what is going on America this is hor this is just horrible this is atrocious and my heart is breaking for my country I believe this is the start of the tribulation this is the beginning it's it's beginning and it's gonna get worse so I'm having my coffee in constant prayer for what's been going on today like I said I'm gonna be going to lunch with Chris and I'm going to be finding out about joining a networking organization in my neighborhood to get my business going because I have not had one sale all over I've I ran a huge discount past the new year I've tried everything nothing I'm getting people looking that are obviously scammers spammers dangerous like I got two intern requests from France out of nowhere that want to meet me hello that's not normal so I need to join something I need for a heads up if anybody sees this if you know I am a single proprietor it's just me in this home office this is my office I don't have a fancy building and on the weekends I'm at the Arlington Farmers Market I am making off of my business I think last quarter I made two to three hundred dollars that's three months so I don't have thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars a month to spend on marketing I have maybe a hundred something a month that I can afford because I'm on disability right now to pay the bills it's I'm not physically disabled it's an anxiety issue but I'm on disability I'm on a fixed income so I don't have you know 600 like I got an offer I don't have six to seven hundred dollars a month to spend that's most of my check that I get I can spend maybe 200 max a month I need help with programming my webs my website is the stores online website and everything is in place but not optimized there are still coding issues that need to be addressed I know what's wrong I just can't fix it I need a programmer that's familiar with e-commerce familiar with stores online I also need somebody that is familiar with and can take all of my I have a Facebook account I have a Twitter account I have Pinterest I have LinkedIn um, I need somebody that can take all of this and make it actually work for me because all these videos I'm doing all this they're not being seen and I don't have money tons of money to pump into and even if I did I don't know the right way to do it I did not go to business school to learn how to be a marketing guru I need to find somebody who can do all that and who is willing to work with me and as I make money I will be able to pay you more to begin with it can only be a hundred to two hundred dollars a month starting that's all I have right now so if you know or if somebody you know can help me in this area please get with me at my you can email me at amy's handmade gifts at gmail.com and we can work something out because I really need this to work I have been doing this since 2009 and the money I'm making is not even a drop in the bucket compared to the money I'm spending on supplies 
buying the beads and the wire and the thread and everything else plus my shop at the farmers market costs money and so people are looking at this stuff just uh, it's junk uh, it's too much I, this takes time to make it may not look like 24 karat gold jewelry but I don't as you can see I don't have a factory I have this is it this is my home office this is where I create all my things with my own hands just me so anyways I'm gonna stop rambling now and I will upload this and talk to you soon have a great day and God is in control and Amen.